AI lets you see things in images that you've never been able to see before. And when you see that kind of technology, you think, oh, God, like, what are we going to do? Like, this, this, this is it. This is the train is leaving the station. You better get on board. One of the very first things we ever used it to see was a lithium ion pouch cell. So we were able to see inside the cell, not just the lithium, but the graphite microstructure. That is something we've never been able to see before. Why? Because it's graphite, that's carbon, it's impregnated with an electrolyte that does not create an environment for high degrees of X-ray contrast. As soon as we applied our AI-powered reconstruction algorithm, popped out just like this. You were able to see the local graphite microstructure. When we started using AI, we had a set of these technological problems that had been the outstanding technological problems of the last hundred years, you know, not insoluble, but really hard to solve problems where you had to develop really unique little bits of things that would work in some cases and not in the others. And when you, AI started to come around as a generally usable tool, you saw it like knock these things down again and again and again. As a technology developer, that's really exciting because y you can build stuff that addresses problems that have been really difficult for people. If I take an x-ray microscopy example, we've always had this really big problem of noise. And with our deep learning based reconstruction, that's basically solved now. New root systems imaged by plant scientists or differentiating mer minerals by geologists that are really, really close in chemical composition or I have an industrial application. Maybe I'm inspecting 3D printed parts for defects and I need to do these once every five minutes, but I need it at a micron scale resolution. That has been previously impossible and not just impossible, but not nearly possible. You needed to have some kind of true disruptive technological shift that allowed you to access these applications. We often think about this as in terms of how many times faster can you go? I actually think that's the wrong way to think about it because it's so disruptive, it enables new applications where previously there was zero. That's where I'm really excited to see people use the technology. What new applications does it unlock? In my mind, if it's just building AI, there's a range of partners that you can go to. What they don't have is 150 years of understanding of the physics and the technology that goes into, in, in my case, microscopy. We're the only people who can take these two insights, the 150 years understanding critical insight, and then marry that with this new, incredibly powerful technology that's coming along and disrupting the world. I can't wait to learn what our customers and users, what they use that technology to see. Yeah.